Alrighty guys, so today um, I just got done doing a Cinebench test and I wanted to go over some of my settings uh, and how um, I got the score I did. Now, um, this is not my highest score, but uh, my PC is now in my large gaming closet, so there's not really great ventilation down here. Alright, so... Um, I got uh, 24,439, this is a 12700K, and we'll go kind of go over the settings. Uh, so uh, CPU core voltage is set to 1.360 volts, there's no core offset. Uh, it is a core usage uh, overclock, so now uh, the first two cores um, are set to 5.3 gigahertz. Uh, the, <clears throat> the next two cores are set to 5.2 gigahertz, and if you if the CPU is utilizing all eight cores, it's at 5.1 gigahertz. Um, at the bottom there, you can see all our core usage. Uh, the CPU is not under load, so that's why it it's reading 5100, 5200. If I were to uh, do its stress tests of any sort, all those uh, the frequencies would swap to 5100 megahertz. That's exactly what I want. So the CPU is not under the load. Uh, obviously, you can see by the package temperature, it's only 30 degrees Celsius. Um, so we're sitting idle right now. Um, I'm in my gaming closet, like I said. So uh, pretty warm in here, uh, not too much ventilation. I have some fans that I have to run to get some airflow in here. Uh, but we are uh, got our baseline, and we are going to uh, push this thing. I still have a lot more room on my RAM. I'm only at 4,800 uh, megahertz on the RAM. Uh, it's good for 5,600. The motherboard can uh, is capable of handling up to 6,200. Um, so hopefully there's not diminishing returns as I go um, above 4,800. We'll see. Um, but I can't just enable XMP uh, and have it bring it to 5,600 because that's just a it's a um, a cost on performance. It actually uh, slows the computer down by doing that so uh you know back with ddr4 you could just hit intel uh extreme, or sorry extreme memory profile and uh be good to go but not not on ddr5 it doesn't work like that um so they still got we're still in the beginning phases of ddr5 so we have a lot more work to do and uh definitely a lot more software and hardware uh updates to go before we're kind of where ddr4 um is so we'll see how that goes um yeah our max temperature on this test was 91 degrees celsius i mean for the location where my pc is that's pretty good um i can't complain there um cinebench is my go-to test because if it's going to pass cinebench your cpu test is going to pass anything else it's like you know, good rule of thumb. Um, that's why I do this test for customers because then I know that CPU it has a, a good chance to pass everything else. Um, so it's not the hardest test in the CPU, but for me, I use this test and uh, I it's a good baseline, I, I, I feel, uh, and a good CPU test. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm probably bored at looking at my screen now, so I'm going to end this video now. Uh, if you have any questions on the settings uh, or anything like that, let me know. Um, I, oh, one more thing. I did have to add a AVX instruction offset of 8 in the BIOS. Um, so I'm going to mess. i got to mess with that too to see if I can uh, lower that down and still... Uh, passed the test because I was failing uh, with no AVX offset, but I was at a lower core voltage at like 1.32 volts. So uh, looks like 1.360 is what I needed to pass and get the score I did. So um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.